All right, this is what we're gonna need, guys. You're gonna need your heavy weights. Just go ahead and pull them out. Oh, I see a friend pulling in right now. All right, so we're gonna start with one red spring. Have your weights out, ready to go. Today's class is called Burn Baby Burn 2021. I know I'm pulling it out at the very last class that I'm really teaching. Are your ropes too long? They look a little long. It looks just a tad long. All right, so once you're there, foot bar is up. We're gonna start with one medium spring. That's one red spring if you're following, or sorry, one red spring at the studio. That's one medium spring if you're following us at home. You can bring your headrest up. Let's just lay all the way down. Just one red, one medium. We're gonna start with an easy peasy stretch. Woo, it's cold down here. Pick up a strap. Let's pick up your left strap. Bring it over your right foot. And then just extend your left leg long over the foot bar like that. Hold it there, cross the leg over and just hold right there. And then we're gonna open out to the side. We're gonna hold it right here. Lucy told me I looked like a party this morning. Aww. I know, she always says the sweetest things to me. And the alls Ricky talks about is potty talk. <laughs> Crossover. Yeah, he sings songs about his butt. All by himself, he's not even trying to tease anyone. I just hear him singing about it in his room. Then open out to the side. It's so nice to have a five-year-old boy. It's just gonna get worse, I think. <laughs> now take the foot straight up to the ceiling. Grab the pegs next to your ears. Let's lift the leg that's on top of the foot bar so it's floating. Press into that strap. Inhale, lower. Feel that core switch on. Exhale, bring it right back up. And again, inhale through your nose as you lower it down. Core contracts. Exhale, bring it right back up. You got it, you guys. Just a couple more here. Trying to get a little length behind that leg. And then hold it right here like this. Cross the leg over. We're gonna go into giant circles. We're doing three circles each way. I like to hold on tight to those pegs to connect into the shoulders so that the body doesn't move around too much. And then we're gonna reverse for three. For two. Last one right here. One, let's go ahead and bend that right leg. So bend the strapped leg, bring the non-strapped leg to your right ankle and just kind of hold it right there. And then we're gonna take that strap off. We're gonna switch legs. We're just stretching the legs here. Now I'm gonna pick up the right strap. I'm gonna bring it over my left foot, the opposite foot. Extend the non-strapped foot over your foot bar, cross the leg over. Hold it right there. And then take it out to the side, hold it there. And cross it over again. And then out to the side. And then we're gonna take it straight up to the ceiling. Grab the pegs next to your ears, lift the extent to the non-strapped leg. And you're gonna lower the left leg down, feel that core tighten, bring it right back up. We're here for five, four, drawing that tummy in, three, two, last one right here, one. And now we're gonna start our circles. Pick a direction, any direction. We're going for three, holding on tight to those pegs. Find the pecs and the lats, start to switch on. And reverse. And then you're gonna bend this left leg, bring your right knee to your left ankle, hold it there. All right, we're gonna take your feet out of there. Grab both straps, pull them out. Let's just warm up the core a little bit. Bring the long loops over the arches of your feet. 
and then bring your hands behind your head. Let's lift up into the C-curve. Elbows are nice and wide, so you're literally letting your head be heavy in your hands. And lower the legs down. Inhale as you go down. Now exhale, contract the core, send the feet back up. So we're trying to use the core to initiate the lift. I'm trying to keep the legs nice and heavy. They're not doing any of the work. They're literally just going along for the ride. Deflate those abs. Draw that tummy in tight to initiate that lift. Squeeze the inseams of your leggings together. Good, let's go for three more. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, contract the core and lift. Just two more. Last one, now let's hold it down at a 45. Pause, reach the hands forward. Still drawing that tummy in and up. Start pumping your arms. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep it up. Every exhale, I want you to deflate the abs. Fill the lungs with air on your inhale. Exhale, deflate those abs. We're gonna change it, inhale. Now on the exhale, draw the knees in. Two, three, four, five, and lengthen. Two, three, four, five, and tuck. Two, three, four, five, and lengthen. And tuck. You've got it, keep it up. Last one. Good, bring your hands behind your head. Let the neck soften. So your head is heavy in your hands. Continue those tucks. Draw the knees in, narrow the elbows. And elbows meet the knees in the center. Inhale, lengthen, scoop out the abs, lift the hips. Inhale, lengthen, scoop out the abs and lift. Good, give me six more right here. Deep abs are creating that lift for six. It's not as intense without the ball, huh? For five. For four. For three. Really drawing that low tummy in tight. For two, let's hold the last tuck. So go ahead and get to that tuck. Hold it, just lifting the hips. Here we go, for eight, deep abs. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your feet out of there. We're gonna come all the way up. We're gonna change our spring tension. So go ahead and roll all the way up. Let's add the springs that you would add for footwork, okay? So going to our footwork tension, I like to add some springs to the buttons on that spring bar. All my springs are on, but I make it a little extra heavy. All right, grab those weights. Now make sure your foot bar is locked down. Ideally, we're gonna bring our knees over our foot bar like this. So I'm literally sitting on the edge right here like that, okay? Now I'm gonna grab my weights, oh. All right, so from here, draw the shoulders down like this. We're gonna reach the weights up and resist with those lats as they come down for 10. Lift it up, exhale, resist for nine. Resist for eight, for seven, six, five. You've got it, you guys. We're here for four, sitting as tall as possible for three, two, one. Bring the dumbbells right to your chest like this. Cinch the ribs to the hips. Gotta fix my microphone so I don't roll on it. And you're gonna roll all the way back. Squeeze the foot bar with the backs of the knees. Come all the way down, head relaxes. Reach the dumbbells up. Bring them back to the chest. Tuck the chin to the chest. Scoop the abdominals. You squeeze the foot bar. Take it up all the way up. And then we go to a tricep press. Bring the dumbbells back to the chest. Slowly roll down. Keep the dumbbells touching as you lift it up. Replace the dumbbells. Tuck the chin, scoop the abs, take it up. Woo! You've got it. We have six more. We're doing a total of eight. Bring the dumbbells back. Slowly roll down through that spine, one bone at a time. Reach it up. No pausing, just keep moving the entire time. Taking it straight up. Here's five. Woo! Cinch the ribs to the hips, pass through that Pilates scoop. Reach it up. Tuck the chin, squeeze the foot bar with those legs. Up, just four more. You've got it, shoulders, keep them out of those ears. 
Don't forget to breathe. Take a break if you need to. Ditch the dumbbells if you need to. If you wanna go down to one dumbbell, that totally works too. Just three more. <sighs> and up. Whew, can we do two more, guys? We've got this. Yeah. They're getting heavy, I know. <sighs> if this is your last workout for 2021, let's make it our best one yet. Last one, here we go. Whew. And we come up. All right. Oh, actually, we could have just stayed down there. <laughs> We're gonna roll all the way down. We're gonna find our footwork. So I just drop the weights on the carriage like that. Shimmy back so your um, shoulders are against the shoulder rest. Find first position or Pilates V. Now, I want the tailbone heavy, but not the low back, okay? Find that footwork, squeezing those heels. Take it out, we're here for 10. Resist with, the, uh, resist with those glutes as you close. Squeeze those heels together. Lift from the pelvic floor, take it out. Resist the carriage closing. We're here for eight. We're moving to your breath. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Good, for six. Maintain that neutral pelvis for five. Four, three, two, one. Take it in halfway. Still squeezing those heels together. Pulse it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five. Final four, three, two, one. Take it all the way out. Bring it all the way back in. Grab the weights. All right, so adding the weights with the movement. So I start with the arms up. As the carriage opens, send the arms out to the sides. Elbows are soft, take it back in for 10. Still lifting from that pelvic floor, maintaining that neutral pelvis for eight, seven, whoo, for six. You've got it, friends. And five. Four, ditch the weights if it's too much. For three, or go down in weight. Two. And one, bring it back home, ditch the weights. Let's find a narrow position with our feet. Let's bring our heels on in parallel. Check in with that neutral pelvis. Tailbone is heavy, low back is not. Give me 10 right here for 10. Lifting from that pelvic floor as we open the carriage for nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Good. Bring it in halfway. Little pulses, pulse at ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way out. Bring it all the way back in. One more round in parallel, but we're gonna pick up the weights. This time we're gonna keep the weights narrow. So you're gonna feel the triceps a little bit more. All right, so as we open the carriage, send the dumbbell straight up to the ceiling. Keep them touching. Bring them right back down to your chest for 10. Inhale, lift for nine. Keep the elbows narrow for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, woo, two. Last one right here. One. Nice job, you guys. Ditch the dumbbells like this. Slowly roll all the way up. We're going to change our equipment around. We're not going to waste too much time on footwork. Let's go to your lightest spring that you have. Here at the studio, we're gonna to go to our yellow spring. It's our half spring. So everything comes off except for that half spring. All right, we're gonna pull our boxes out like this. So pull your boxes out. I like to line it up with my spring bar like that. And you only need one weight 
The other way you can just kind of put behind your reformer like that. We'll put this weight right here. I'm gonna go. So we have one heavy weight out. <sighs> we'll get started right here. So that one light spring is on. Go ahead, come down here like this. We're just gonna start with a little bit of a row right here. So I like to have my hand, my inside hand and inside knee on the box and my outside foot is gonna be on the floor. Before we start, let's roll those shoulders back. Abs are tight, think extended spines. We're not letting the shoulders hunch. Pull it straight back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, just press it straight back. Here we go for 10, abs are tight for nine, neck is long for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right, turning this way here like this. Now, if it's too heavy, if you need help, you're gonna scoot your box that way, okay? Bring the dumbbell to the floor on the outside of your box. We're gonna take the short loop. So pick up the strap, bring it over the thigh closest to your reformer, like this. I like to use the short loop. Once you've done that, make sure that the strap is behind the knee. Then we're gonna roll back like this. Roll all the way back here. And again, if it's too heavy, you just scoot your box that way. Grab the dumbbell. Good, start with your right knee in, left leg is long. We're right here like this, reaching, good. Now, switch legs, bring the dumbbell over your head. Exhale, pull it in. <sighs> Inhale, open. Exhale, tuck for eight. You've got it, you guys. And seven, draw those abs in tight. We're here for six. Deep abs, my friends, for five. Woo! And four, three, two, one. Ditch the weight to the side. Bring your hands behind your head, giving your neck a little bit of a break. Now, we're just gonna uh, lengthen the legs, tuck them in right here for eight. Draw it straight in for seven. For six, if it's too heavy, scoot your box back. For five, four, three, woo, two. Last one right here, one. Roll up from there. Now we're gonna turn away from our reformer. I think my box needs to come this way a little bit. <sighs> come down to your out, so the hand closest to the foot bar, your left hand, bring it out. Extend the leg, long bottom leg is tucked under. Reach the hand up. We're gonna add a dumbbell in a second, but we're gonna practice it this way first. Cinch the rib to the hip to draw it in. Reach it out. Now if you wanna add that dumbbell, here we are. Resist with those lats to bring it in. All right, here we go, we're going for 10. Are you ready? For 10, I want you to feel that top waist draw it in for nine. Abs are tight, shoulders are out of yours for eight. And seven, you've got it, you guys. For six, whoo, for five, four, three, two, last one right here, one. So good, ditch that weight. All right, now we're gonna turn towards our box. Shimmy the strap up just a little bit. So I'm gonna scoop my box forward a little bit. Then I'm gonna climb on top right here like this. Roll the shoulders back, abdominals are in tight. We're gonna kick the leg up. Good, now really round that right butt cheek. Take it out to the side, goes right back to there for 10. Take it out to the side. For nine, it's like I'm cinching the rib to the hip as the knee comes through. For eight, still rounding that booty as much as possible. For seven, and six, whoo. For five, four, three, two. Last one right here, this is it. One, good. Now, shimmy the strap up just a hair. Bring your hands to your box into a plank position. If you want to scoot your box forward a little bit, you can extend that leg up. And my strap kind of wiggled, so I'm gonna pull it back. 
All right, so we're gonna do a tricep push-up like that with the leg extended. The strap actually kind of helps. Take it down, we're here for five. Now pause at the top, tuck the knee out to the side. I call this Spider-Man. Good, elbows are narrow as we go down for four. Take it out to the side. Whew, for three. Neck is long, your strap might slip, that's okay. Mine's slipping for two. Take it out to the side. Last one, whoo, one. And my strip, my strap <laughs> slipped. It's okay, we're done with that strap. Perfect timing. <sighs> Ditch the strap. All right, now, I like to push my box all the way to the front if it's not already there. Hold it there like that. I'm just catching my breath. <laughs> All right, so now go ahead and grab that dumbbell. We're still on that same spring. We're gonna do sets of eight here. So you're gonna take your dumbbell, you're gonna hold it in your left hand like this. The outside hand is gonna kinda grab the end of the dumbbell, okay? I want you to lunge back like this. Now you're gonna pop the dumbbell up as you stand up, bring your foot to the carriage, then we lunge down like that. Okay, we're gonna all do it together. Dumbbell hand guides the dumbbell down. Take it down, fire it up, reach it straight up. Find that tall, proud posture. Take it down, rotate in that spine. Whew, up, reach it up. You wanna keep the dumbbell close to the body as it passes through, right here, passes through, and then fire it straight up. We have six more, taking it down. Really working the left arm and the right leg. You got it. Five more. For five. Whew. And up. For four. And up. For three. Whew. Up. Two. Up. Last one right here. One. And up. Changing it just a bit. We're gonna turn this way here. So, if this is too much, we're doing a curtsy. If it's too much on your knees, you just square yourself off, okay? So, same thing, same grip with the hand. Holding it here, this hand, we're going to take it down like this, and then step onto the box with both feet, fire it up. Are you ready? Guiding it down. Now, can you extend the back leg long? And up, Whew, seven more, here we go. Take it down, carriage may slam, it's totally fine. Whew. For six, a lot of work right here. And five, you've got it hang in there. For four, Whew. three, two, Last one right here. One. All right, now I want you to add a medium spring to that light spring. So let's add a red to our yellow. The other leg is gonna get a little bit of work. Pick up your dumbbell. All right, left foot is gonna come against the shoulder rest. We're gonna work that left leg with some power presses. So squat down, roll the shoulders back, as you press the carriage out, pull the dumbbell back for 10. Stay low for nine. Nose, knees, and toes right here for eight. Abs are in tight for seven, six, whoo, five. Both legs are working, but we're rounding that left booty. Three, two, one. Combo time. All right, so more left leg. You stand into the left leg. You hop back, hop front, and pull. You ready? We're going for eight, here we go. Hop back, hop front, press and pull. Woo, hop back, hop front, stay low and press. Hop back, hop front and press, you got it. Hop back, hop front and press. Four more ladies, here we go, hop back, hop front, press. Three more, hop back, hop front, press. Two more, hop back, hop front, Press, last one, make it your best one yet. Hop back, Woo! So good, ditch the weight. 
catch your breath for one second. Whoo! All right, hands are gonna come onto your foot bar here, like this. Walk your feet back to your shoulder S. We're gonna stay on these same springs and do a little classical work. Shoulders are gonna come over your hands. Draw those abs in tight to support that low back. Maintaining this plank position, ride it out. Neck is long, lead with the crown of your head. Bring it in, we're here for six. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it right back in for five. Whoo! And four. For three, you've got it. Two, last one right here. One. Now we're gonna turn our toes towards the front door. Walk your feet away from the shoulder rest just a hair. Shift your right to the back hand. Lift the hips, ride it out. Pressing into that back hand, ride it back in for six. I want you to feel that bottom waistline really working. For five, good. Inhaling through your nose as you open. Exhale, wring those abs out like a sponge. Woo! Just two more right here. We've got this. Last one. Take your back hand, bring it to the center. Front hand extends over. Keep both hands down if you would like. Otherwise, we're gonna open it out. Slightly drop the hips. Lift the hips like a rainbow. Reach it up and over. Four more, take it out. Follow your hand with your eyes if you can. Lift it up and over, woo! Three more for three. Lift those hips, cinch the bottom rib to your hip. For two, lift it up. Final one right here. One, got it. Step off of there, catch your breath. We have one more little sequence here. Then we take a minute break, okay? So we're gonna take the weight off. We're gonna go to one blue spring. So go to your blue, which is our light spring, not our lightest spring. We're gonna take this box. I'm gonna bring it back here like this. And I line it up with the back, okay? Setup is not quite done. <laughs> now, I want you to lower that right, that riser on this side, okay? Lower it all the way down so you loosen it, lighten it, or lower it down, tighten it up. If your risers are stuck in one spot, it's still gonna work. This just gives you a little bit more leverage. Just do one side, because we still need that side up. All right, now, hold the strap, lift it up. Now, I want you to not grab this part of the rope. Grab the bottom rope, wrap it around the peg or the shoulder rest as many times as you can. It might lose, it might lose a little bit, that's totally fine. So see how short it is now? Now it's nice and short. Okay, now turn to face your box. We need one dumbbell with us. Bring it out to the side here like that. We're gonna take this short loop. I'm gonna bring it over the inside thigh like this. So it's over my inside thigh. Soften that standing leg. Roll the shoulders back, abs are in tight. Okay, just practice kicking it straight back. I want you to really round the booty of the kicking leg. Press, good, here we go, press. Now, if you wanna to add to it, you grab the dumbbell on the floor, keep the, uh, keep the shoulders down, press it back for 10. Round that booty, ladies, for nine, eight, seven, you've got it. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, last one right here, one. Good, turn this way here, like this. All right, so you soften the knee. Soften both knees, and we're here, like that. Now, reach this arm up as we go into our clam. Are you ready? Reach everything up for 10. Abs are tight. Nine, feeling both butts working here for eight. And seven, woo! For six, hang in there, friends. Five, final four, woo! Three, two, last one right here. One. Take the strap off of your leg like this. Ditch it for a second, drop the box. Now, you can either go to a lighter spring or try it with a blue spring, okay? 
I did it both ways. You're gonna feel the legs significantly more with the blue spring, but the arms get a little heavy. So I'm gonna leave it up to you if you wanna switch it. Right now we're on the blue spring, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so ditch that weight. Bring it right there. You should have both heavy weights nearby. Now, we're gonna grab this strap. Bring your, pull your box towards you a little bit this way. We're gonna come to a side plank. Make sure you grab the long strap right here like this, okay? So we're gonna do a pull. We, I was gonna do an overhead press, but it's a little heavy with the blue strap. So you're just pulling the arm back, drawing the shoulder blades together. Here we go for eight, seven. My shoulder is directly over my hand for six. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Just keep tension in the strap. Hold it right here. Lower and lift the hips for eight, seven. So you're working both arms for six, five. Come to the elbow if you need to for four, three, two. Last one, one. Ah, catch your breath. Now you're going to move your box this way a little bit more. If you are littler, you might want to play with where your box is or move your carriage out. We'll see how you do, okay? We're gonna stand up here like this. Come all the way onto your box. Both feet are there, bend the knees, nose, knees, and toes right here like this. Just pulling with that right arm straight back. Straight back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You've got it, you guys. Two, one, switch hands. Here we go, both arms get to work here for 10. Nine, abs are tight for eight. Draw that tummy in. Seven, do not let those shoulders round forward. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, bring the strap into the right hand, pull the carriage out, left foot comes behind that shoulder rest. So the taller you are, the farther forward your left foot is gonna be. Good, go ahead and drop the strap. Come into your deep lunge right here, like this. Now, let's talk about the posture first. Roll the shoulders back, long spine. Press into the heel, lift it up. Take it down, nose, knees, and toes. Switch on the glute and lift for 10. You want those abs nice and tight, guys. For eight, the upper body is lifting to draw the carriage under. The standing leg, the box leg is doing all the work. Seven. Six, nose, knees, and toes, and lift it up for five. Do not let those shoulders round forward for four, three. We get a break after this. Two, last one right here. One, catch your breath, step off of there. Grab some water or a towel, Whew. side. Don't worry about the riser yet, okay? We'll do the riser after when it's time. So we line our box up like this. We want to go back to that half spring, that yellow spring. Was that blue spring okay for you guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a little wimpy with the blue spring for the leg work, but it made those arms heavy, but I changed the movement. All right, so don't worry about the riser. You only need one weight. I decided to just use one weight because when we added that heavier spring, it was too much to add the dumbbells. So. You know, just looking out for you guys. All right, so we're gonna start with that row. Okay, so we start facing this way. We're on our lightest spring that we have. Here we go, guys. Finding that row. So my knee and hand are on the box, the inside knee and hand. Roll the shoulders back, abs are tight. 20 minutes left, we've got this. Pull it straight back for 10, nine. It's not super heavy, we're here for eight. We could definitely go heavier here. For seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one hold to here, press it back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, woo! Two, last one right here. One, ditch that weight, but keep it nearby. All right, I, like, I, I scooted my box this way, just a hair. We turn this way for the, the abdominal work. 
<sighs> We're gonna take the short loop, bring it over the inside knee. I like the short loop, I feel like it gives it just a little bit more tension. But it could be that my long legs create too much slack in the ropes. All right, so we're here like this. Find the dumbbell. Draw the strapped leg in, uh, outside leg is long. Reach the dumbbell towards your left foot. As you switch legs, dumbbell comes here. Exhale, bring it in for 10. Stay up in that C curve for nine. Try to use those abs, we're here for eight. I know, it is oh so heavy for seven. Whoo, deep abs, here we go, for six. Five. One yellow, four, three, two, one. Ditch the weight, hands come behind the head. Just focus on those abs right here for 10. Deep abs, draw it in for nine, Whew. eight, and seven. We're here for six, five, Four, focus on that tummy. I know it's hard here for three. Final two and one. Sit yourself up, turn to the side. We're turning away from our reformer. <sighs> All right, your right hand comes to the floor. Extend that leg up, maybe uh, grab that strap just a little bit. Reach the hand up before we add the dumbbell. Let's practice that waist cinch, tuck everything in. You can stay here or you can add the dumbbell. It's totally up to you. I'm adding my dumbbell. We're here for eight more. Here we go, for eight. Cinch that rib to your hip for seven, six, and five, four, three, two, one. You've got it. All right, keep the strap on. Rotate towards your box this way here. And I like to move my box out a little bit. So I'm gonna push it closer to the foot bar. It just gives me a little bit more tension for my longer legs. So you don't have to if you don't want to. Now take the leg back. Flex your foot around that booty. Take it out to the side, right back up for 10. You've got it, we're here for a nine. Eight. Seven. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, now we go into that push up. I like to move my box a little bit more. Grab that strap, make sure it's not going anywhere. It will slip eventually. But until then, here we go. So elbows are narrow, we just do five. Tricep push up, take it out to the side and tuck. Tricep push up, woo! We're cruising, I got a good grip on my strap this time. I'm trying to keep up with Hope. She's like Speedy Gonzalez on my left here. I think we have one more. Woo! Nice job, she is so fast. Her arms are so strong. You're excited. Did I forget any of it? No, I did not. I got distracted by Speedy right here. All right, ditch your strap. It wasn't a bad thing. Enthusiastic. She's enthusiastic. I like push-ups. <sighs> oh, I do. It's never hurting. I know. I love push-ups and burpees. All right, ditch that strap. We'll worry about the riser in just a second. I'm gonna continue working that left leg. All right. So the dumbbell is gonna be in your inside hand, our right hand, left hand is here, okay? So we're gonna start with the little floor lunge here like this, and this is the one where we kinda prop it up. I don't wanna say hurl or chuck. It's a prop, reach it down. Good, take it down right here, follow it. Abs are tight, press it up. We have six more, we're doing a total of eight. Take it down, up, and reach. Woo, five more. Take it down. My plastic outfit is making me sweat. <laughs> I have four more. For four. <sighs> For three. Woo. Two. One. Turning this way here like this. Find the carriage. All right, 
So left hand is, hold, is guiding the dumbbell. So right hand is holding it, left hand guides it down. So you're gonna lunge down. So curtsy down onto the carriage. Good, and then step to the box, fire it up for eight. Here we go. Take it down. Woo! And up. You've got it. For six. How's that arm? How's that leg? For five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Turning this way here. We need to add to that yellow spring. So add your medium spring to your yellow. So add a red to that half spring. All right. Here we go. So we're here like this. So we do 10 presses, then we add the hop to it, okay? Hop to it. <laughs> All right, so roll the shoulders back. Press it back as you pull. We're here for 10. Here we go. 10. Abs are tight for nine. Nose, knees, and toes right here for eight. You've got it. Give me seven. Woo! Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Are you ready for the hop? We're here for eight. So we hop back. Hop front. And pull. Here we go. Hop back. Hop front. Pull. Hop back. Hop front. Pull. Woo! Four more, guys. Here we go. Hop back. Hop front. Pull. Hop back. Hop front. Pull. Two more. Pull. Pull. Woo! Ditch that weight. <sighs> All right. We're going to go into up stretch from the classical work. If you're littler and you want to bring your foot bar higher, you definitely can. It's totally up to you. Same springs. We're going to start with your hips over your feet. Feet are up against the shoulder S. Position one. Position two. Extend the carriage out. Find a plank position. Flatten out that spine. Lead with the crown of your head. Bring it all the way in. Drop your head. Scoop the belly. Roll the hips back. Find that extended spine. Press it out. Lead with the crown of your head right here. Wait for the carriage to close. Drop your head. Create an ocean wave in that spine. Roll through the spine. Then extend it out. The goal is to keep the carriage closed through that transition of bringing the hips over the feet. Just one more right here. Letting the body kind of reset a little bit. Finishing it here. Turn your toes towards our sparkly curtain. Shift your weight towards the back hand. Make sure those hips are lifted. Ride the carriage out. We're gonna maintain this twisted plank. Bring it right back in for five. You've got it. Abs are tight for four. Imagine you're wringing those abdominals out like a sponge here. For three. Two, last one here. One, take your right hand, your back hand, bring it to the center, extend the top hand over. Remember, you can keep the hands down. If you would like, take it out, lift the hips, create a rainbow in that body. Take it out. Good, lift the hips, cinch the rib to the hip. Just three more. Two. Last one. One, step off of there. Catch your breath. This is where we change our equipment around. All right, first thing we need to do is go to the blue spring. So that's our regular light spring. It's not our lightest spring. Go to your blue spring. So let's fix our riser. So we gotta push this guy all the way down. Push him all the way down if you have the ability to do so. Then I hold this strap. So it doesn't confuse it with the other strap. Grab the bottom rope, wrap it around that riser as many times as possible. It may not go all the way to the edge. That's totally fine. Make room for your box. Bring your box to the back of your reformer like this. We start with the box upright. Mm -hmm. 
start with the box up right here like this. Get that heavy dumbbell nearby. All right. So in the future, if you wanted to work the same leg at a time, you'd put the strap over the other leg, but this is how we did it today. All right, so you're gonna step into that strap with the inside leg, bring it over the knee. Ah, little booty work right here. One more booty blast for 2021, unless you're gonna come see me tomorrow. All right, soften the knees, roll the shoulders back, extend it back, practice it here. So I'm kicking it back, abs are tight, fire it back. Now, if you wanna add that arm, here we go, add that pull for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, round that booty for five, four, three, two, last one here, one. All right, turning this way here. You're strapped in, it's super awkward, I know. <laughs> Soften the standing knees, practice taking it out. Both legs are working, right here, right? If you wanna add that reach, here we go. For 10, resist with those lats. For nine, it is not a pretty exercise. For eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there. Three, whoo, I feel the burn. Two, last one right here. One, we are done with that weight. All right, take that strap off. Now you drop the box here. Pull it back just a little bit. It is a little heavier. All right, starting with the side plank reach, right? So we're here like this. So we're gonna turn here like this. My shoulder's over my hand. Roll the shoulders back, abs are tight. We just did, whoops, we just did a pull for eight. Shoulders are over your hands for seven. Armpit is hollow, we're here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, just keep tension in the rope. Lower, lift for eight, seven. I want you to feel that bottom waist and that shoulder for six, five, four, three, two. Last one right here, one. Whew. Come up from there. All right, we're gonna come up on top like this. We're so close to being done, you guys. Give me five minutes and we'll be there. All right, roll the shoulders back. Abdominals are tight. Pull it straight back for 10. Fire that elbow straight back for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other arm, here we go, pull it back. You've got it. And pull, whew, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Now, pull the carriage out for you, and that way you can kind of get your foot where you want it to be, and then you can drop the strap. Find the deadlift position. Think nose, knees, and toes. Roll those shoulders back. You don't need your strap anymore. Switch on that glute. Take it up for 10. Nose, knees, and toes. Fire it up for nine. Focusing on that standing leg. We're here for eight. You've got it, you guys. For seven, whoo, six, five. Nose, knees, and toes. For four, I'm lifting the upper body to pull the carriage under for three, two. Last one here, one. Catch your breath. Whoo! Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Leave the equipment where it is. Just go to one medium spring. That's a red spring here at the studio. <sighs> Bottom foot is gonna come, so left the foot closest to your foot bar. It's gonna be on the floor underneath. Take the top foot, bring it on top. Reach the hands up. Draw the shoulders down. Go ahead and float forward. Right here like this. We're gonna ride it all the way out. 
holding it there and back in. Let's do two more like that. Whew, nice job today, you guys. Last one right here, here we go. Taking it out. And then let's turn this way here like this. Face your foot bar. All right, so we're gonna take the right foot, the foot that was against the shoulder rest, let's bring it on top this way here. Roll the shoulders back, big inhale. Exhale, take it back all the way out, holding it here and back in. Open up the chest and the throat as the carriage comes home. Take it out. Now, if you want to add to the stretch, you can walk your hands to the frame. It just gives it a little bit more and back in. Good. One more here. Did you hear us talking about you uh -oh. um, no. when you were taking notes? Like, well, we're talking about It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. Probably on Monday. Oh, really? Yeah, we were talking about you. I feel like, was it before the class? I think we talked about you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. But it was I good stuff. It was like before. I just like fast forward. You probably, you probably missed so it. Like, she probably just, because the first class, the, the class repeats itself on the other side. So oh, she yeah, doesn't, I, yeah, yeah, take it all the way out. But we were talking about how beautiful your show was. It was Monday, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I saw the show on Thursday, right? Yeah. yeah. I was wondering, like, I wonder if she's going to hear this. She will. <laughs> but you're probably just counting reps, huh? She probably puts us on mute. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. One more. Oh, and I forgot to bring my hands down because I'm talking. My fault, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we'll step off this way. Now I need to see Thriller for sure. I haven't had a chance to see it. My body hurts. Reach it up. How old are you, Hope? I'm only 25, but like. I know. I get it. No, that's that's towards the end, right? Yeah. I remember when I was on skating tours, the 30-year-olds were like on their last. You know what I mean, like. I remember thinking they were so old too, and now it's like. It's like the Stephanie and the Christmas show. And they weren't. It's just technical, and it's like, what is the body? And I love it. I can do that every day if I had to. Well, then you kind of want to move on to one more here. All right, you guys. Bring it in. You're all done. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining me, you guys. <laughs>